five days in a row to get this shoe. I ran in the shoe five days. I never run in a shoe five days in a row in order to get it to 50 miles as quick as possible for the full review. Here we go on Cloud Surfer. All right, why did I do that? And so I did a long run yesterday, 22 miles, 7.30 a mile, not crazy fast, but in the shoe. I did a, uh, I did a, a tempo run, I think it was like 620, there it is on your screen right now, at 620 a mile. I took this shoe at different paces in the last week and I'm blown away. On, you did it. Actually, did you see the scores? I'll put them up on the screen again right now. There you go, there's the full review scores in case you don't have all the time in the world, okay? We'll break it down, midsole, price point, et cetera, et cetera. 10 millimeter drop, all right, 32 and 22. There's the weight on your screen. Lightweight, okay, not the lightest daily trainer, easy day, tempo, is it a, uh, is it a tweener? Yes, it is everybody, okay? So there's, let's, let's talk about the upper real quick. Incredibly well padded. I'm gonna go plush in the heel counter. Nailed it, nailed it. Compared to, okay, on shoes three years ago, I realized that's a long time ago. We've come a long way in the Swiss engineering department. Love the heel, love the heel counter. I can't even tell you how much I love the heel counter. Actually, I don't even, yes. Ooh, full gusset tongue. I guess, there you go, full gusset tongue, really well padded, pretty wide, okay? In fact, I'll say right now, the entire shoe feels fairly wide. It's not, uh, I didn't feel constricted at all through the toe box, midfoot, the lockdown over the top of the foot, or even the heel. Uh, I liked it, it felt, okay, I'll say, the best, feeling of the shoe. The best part is that it felt like my my foot was being hugged by the footbed. Like a nice hug and I can't I'm not going to remember the shoe that I felt this last in. It didn't feel it just felt like a great I can it's hard to describe other than like the bottom of your foot feels really well locked into the footbed, okay? There you go, upper, loving it. Pretty high on the breathability scale. And with respect to the lockdown, it is not as high as, it's a seven, it's average. But the overall is going high because of the comfort of this upper, all right? Let's break down that midsole Helion foam. It's the first on shoe to feature Helion foam in the cloud tech phase shape, okay? That's that, those holes through the midsole and they're leaning the geometric shaping of those holes, those, I'm gonna call them holes, they're cloud tech. They're leaning, the angle is forward. I don't know if that's why the shoe felt so smooth through, and I, okay, best foot strike I found to be midfoot. Not necessarily heel, not necessarily forefoot, but when I was really purposefully testing the shoe and putting uh, and landing midfoot, if that's when the shoe performed the best for me. And I don't know if it's again, because of that geometric shaping, leaning forward, moving in the forward direction. I love it there. All right, also, this is the first uh, Cloud Tech phase that is not, that does not have the speed board in the midsole. So I think that's softening up uh, the ride a little bit under step. It just felt, it felt soft, okay. 47 on the durometer, a little high. I was shocked. I was expecting upper 30s, low 40s. 47's high, but again, coupled with, and maybe that 47 is gonna increase the durability of the midsole. If you go past 300 miles, if you go past 250 miles in the shoe, please do send me photos. You know where to send them. There it is on your screen, okay? And so 47, um, I'm not gonna, the, uh, I don't think this midsole is gonna last forever and ever. Again, send me photos. My, I'm going 300 to 400 for that full benefit from the midsole. If it goes past 400, well, uh, I'm gonna be a little bit surprised. But anyway, you guys know what to do for the photos. But one of the most important components of an entire shoe, you all have let me know in the comments in the past, is the ride and energy return. It's getting a nine. And it, re it reminded me of the Mach 5. A little, not exactly, but a little, it felt under step. It almost felt just a little softer, but the Mach 5 maybe feeling a little snappier, but oh, I couldn't get it out of my mind. This feels similar-ish to the Mach 5, okay? So that's probably the best comparison I'm gonna come up with to the On Cloud Surfer. Great outsole, not totally plastered. I love the outsole. Now, if you're going really fast on like, 
wet, wet pavement. You might want to be a little careful on the forefoot, but man, I just love that out. Slight, slight decoupled groove through the, uh, through the, from the midfoot going into the heel, okay? Fit, comfort, soak it in, all right? We've already talked about the durability prediction. I'm going tweener. I would use it on it because it's soft, because it feels soft enough. I would use it on an easy, but here's the deal. Easy day, you gotta be careful because it's so lightweight and it feels, you're probably gonna run too fast for an easy day. So for example, I have an easy day today and I'm not gonna wear the shoe because I wanna be held back a little bit, but definitely daily trainer, tempo, fart lick, Long run wouldn't be my first choice. That's the Saucony Triumph 20. Saucony Triumph 20 in case you want to pick up a long run shoe. But I would, I could, you know, I did 22 miles in it yesterday and it did well. Um, yeah, my legs feel, they're a little tired, but it did well. But I, it wouldn't be my first choice for a long run. So absolutely, and that's why the price, a little bit higher, 160, but that's why the score is average because it can knock out so many different runs in your training regimen. Okay, so that's a little high, but it's okay because you, you, you're going to be able to accomplish different tasks out there. All right, shoe quick specs one more time. Soak it in. All right, 47 on that durometer. Engineered mesh, okay. Helion foam and other shoes to buy. It even, I know it's a little straight, like the Go Run Ride 10 from Skechers. Um, definitely does not have the same amount of energy return through the midsole, but as far as like the, the, the weight and the overall construction of the upper, it, it actually kind of reminded me of that Go Run Ride 10 as well. There you have it. Full review score. Oh, I was really hoping for the eights. I like as I was, but there was just a few little things that I think, I think that durability of the shoe and that price point brings the score below the eights. But 7.7 .7 is definitely the best on score we've ever given out in the shoe, the oh shoe, shoe. Do you good job? Come on, where's the Kyle Bell? Come on. Now, 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 comment of the day. This is interesting. Running shoes 4122. Fully agree with your comments. Being a Swiss, I have supported on since day one. But the durability, weight, and price for a running shoe does not add up. Too many other great shoe brands are around. Well, on's target market has changed to more casual wear, where people are willing to pay premium for a good looking shoe. That is why their growth rate has been so phenomenal. But maybe times are changing. Running shoes 4122. It's, I think. They're, st they're really starting to figure it out in the running shoe department versus just being a lifestyle or a go to the gym shoe. So good, that's exciting. Oh, onward we go. Um, I was, question of the day, will you buy a non shoe in the next 365 days? Yes or no? And maybe you've been on the fence, maybe the Cloud Surfer, and it's not, I don't believe it's available yet. I will link to it down below though in the description when it is. So, will you buy an on shoe in the next 365 days? All right, don't forget about the Cloud Monster, Cloud Go, some other good on shoes, not, not as good as this one, but some other good on shoes out there. Onward and upward, we'll toss it to, if I don't have an on running shoe playlist, I'm gonna make one right there. All right, seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.